Hey everyone, it's Wes Wheatley here and we're on location at Sarah and Ian's residence where evidently, nightly, Sarah has been rising out of bed and wandering around the house with no knowledge of having done it. And Ian is afraid that his wife might be possessed by a demon. We're here at the house right now to investigate, to find out if Ian's concerns are valid. Let's go meet the couple. Come on. This is Ian and Sarah. Ian, hi. Hey. Uh, Wes. Wes. Good yeah, yeah, man. Glad you're here. All right, let's go. You ready? Yeah, yeah. We're here in Ian and Sarah's living room where Sarah has agreed to allow us to perform a deliverance, otherwise known as an exorcism. I have a book of demonology here, um, just in case, depending on the spirit that has possessed Sarah, when it comes forward, we'll see if we need this book. Sarah, the way that an exorcism works is not like you might be accustomed to seeing in the movies. I don't know if you watch horror movies, but it's nothing like that. Usually, it's actually very subtle. Uh, release in the shoulders, a tingling on the back of the neck. So what I want you to do is I want you to pay close attention to how you're feeling in your body. Demon, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you, surface now. Shh, sit still. Look at me, demon, in the name of Jesus, I command you to show yourself now. Try and relax, Sarah. Demon, I am talking to you. In the name of God, I command you to show yourself now. Demon, in Jesus' name. Do you want to kill like you killed the other one? Randy, do you want to kill like you killed the other one? Is that what you want? Randy, grab her, hold her down. Do you want to kill like you killed the other one? Is that what you want? Demon, I command you to leave this vessel now. What? Demon, I command you to leave this vessel now. Demon, in the name of God, I command you to leave this vessel now. Demon. In the name of God, I command you to leave this vessel now! Demon, in the name of God, I command you to leave this vessel now! What the fuck? Is she okay? Sarah. It's okay. You did great. Okay? Okay. You're gonna stop having those bad dreams. Good, good, hey, hey guys. What you just saw was a successful deliverance, what most people refer to as exorcisms. Uh, that was Sarah and her husband, Ian. Uh, Sarah was possessed by a demon, but we successfully exorcised the demon, and uh, I think that she's gonna, she's gonna be sleeping well from now on. So, great job, everybody. Jane? Yeah, yeah, Jeff? Yeah. Hi. Here you go. Back door's open. Just, you just meet anybody. Don't tell me you got the keys from me. Just you're on a night walk, okay? Okay. Keep it, keep it quick. Be back here in an hour. Got it. Okay. See you in an hour. Okay, Jane. Thanks, Jeff. All right, everybody, we are here, finally. Um, I think a lot of you know that I have been trying to get access to this building for a really long time. Um, so 
it's a pretty big deal. All right, we are here. We have the keys and we are entering in through the side of the school. Here we go. We are in. It's chilly in here. The second floor. Amazing to finally see what this looks like on the inside. Okay, we are inside on the first floor. Uh, my goal is to plant a camera on this floor and then another one upstairs, and I'll come back and get them later. Okay, so now we are going to find a spot to plant this first camera. Hmm. This looks like, let's see. Oh, this looks like the front door, so I bet we place the camera somewhere in view. Oh, that little spot might work, actually. Let's see. Okay, there is our first hidden camera. We are now just heading into the old admin office. Oh, here's the names of some of the teachers that used to work here. Ooh, there's a little tiny door over here. Some really messed up carpet. Just fucking with you. So we will go up here to what I've been really excited to do, check out the second floor. All right, so now we will find a place to put the camera, the second camera. Um, we have two stairwells, so 50-50 shot of where we wanna aim it. Hmm. I don't think putting it under the water fountain will work very well up here. This will actually probably work fine. So I'll turn it on. Okay. okay. There we go. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Whoa. It looks like everyone in Sacramento is asleep. Hopefully, if anyone's looking in right now, they don't think I'm a ghost. Okay, now we'll go check out the basement, which I think is just a bunch of dirt and chairs, but we'll see what we can find. Jeff? This 
door was open when I was in here last. Jeff? Hello? Um, I think, I think there's somebody in here right now. So not exactly sure what that sound was, but I, I think I just, I think I need to get the fuck out of here because. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, Randy. Yeah. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. So, like I mentioned before, we have a camera crew. Oh. Um, oh. This Hello. is Rob, hey. our camera guy. Hey, this Rob. is Austin, our sound guy. Are we, are we filming? We are. Oh. Okay. Um, <laughs> come on in. There. You're all set. Okay. I, I don't normally uh, deal with um, demons or kind of the darker side of things. Um, it's more, you know, I help people reconnect with their loved ones who have passed on, stuff like that. I do believe in the kind of darker side and that there are darker spirits, um, but not to the level that Wes seems to be, um, to be involved. I think you have to tread lightly, especially with, um, you know, if you're working on darker stuff. And I think that... Um, that's all I'll say about that. <laughs> okay, you seem a bit, um, I don't want to be rude. We, obviously, we're not going to put this in the, the film or wherever he wants to do it. You seem a bit reserved. I just, uh, you know, obviously I know I'm being recorded and, um, and I know that you're doing this with Wes. So I'm just trying to be a little bit more uh, judicious about what I'm saying. Are you going to show him all of the stuff that I'm saying? Probably not. Um, I think Wes has a different style than I do, and I think it can be misused. So Wes doesn't know you're here? No. Don't worry, he's not going to know that we're, we're filming. This, as I said, this is just for us. Uh, we're just curious. So you're not going to use this in the show? Well then, why are you filming it? For research. Because as, as a producer, I need to know more about him as a person, because you know, these kind of shows, they have a personality, and we're trying to humanize him more because he just seems very, you know, over the top. And there, there's a lot of stuff like that out there, so we want to bring more to his character. And if we know more about him, that's going to help. Do you talk to him still? 
Sorry, when was the last time you talked to him? Uh, it's a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago, I, I had to call him about a health thing um, relating to our mom. But uh, other than that, I mean, we kind of had a, a little falling out. And so we haven't really talked. Do you do exorcisms? No. Does he? Um, he has been known to do exorcisms. That was actually part of the contributing factor to our falling out. When was this? Three days ago. Oh. Did it, um, what happened? I mean, I don't want to go into any details, but that, you know, the reason we're not talking is all of this stuff. So this is some footage that somebody sent to me. Uh, this is the typical kind of thing I get where somebody wants me to analyze some, uh, this is some security footage. Uh, you can see the door closing by itself. My job when I'm reviewing something like this is to see, first of all, if there is a, if there is a, a practical um, explanation for this. Most people, you know, something spooks them and their mind immediately zips to something paranormal. And I know that most of the time, you can see actually here, there's a spirit orb and the stool gets knocked over. But I have to look at this and go, okay, is the, are there open windows around? Is there a reason that the door would have closed by itself? Like, is there an AC unit that comes on in the night? And then after I did look at the video and I can see, oh, actually there's legit reason to, um, to think that maybe there's something spiritual happening here, that's when I go and investigate. Did you see the orb? This is my, uh, I call it the spirit satchel. Um, take this with me. Got a book of demonology here. Uh, um, all demons are spirits, not all spirits are demons. These are the devices that I've, this is my haunting kit. Uh, we've got an EMF meter here. Uh, this is a spirit box that uh, scans through radio frequencies. Um, this is a recorder that anybody could pick up, um, although I've modified it a little bit to hear higher frequencies. Um, and this is a uh, just a regular camera, um, although this does have an infrared setting, which is very important because that allows you to see in the dark. Does your camera have an infrared setting, by the way? Yeah, it does. It does? Yeah. Do you want to see it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. So it's the green type, it doesn't have the white type. Yeah. Hey Randy. Hi. I know it doesn't look red, it looks green, but that is infrared. Allows you to see in the dark. A lot of ghost hunters use these, which they should. Um, however, what I think that they get wrong is most ghost hunters get excited just when they get a hit. Uh, but the reality is, is that there are lots of things that emit electromagnetic frequency. Um, so getting a hit itself isn't the thing that's exciting. To me, what you're looking for is something that is disrupting the electromagnetic field that is present. This is a transmitter, right? Yeah. Does this, here, let's see. So, you can see right there that a lot of people would go, oh my God, there's a ghost in your sound pack. Obviously, that's not the case. What this does is, this just picks up um, radio frequencies. So what you do is you let it cycle through the radio frequencies and you'll notice you'll pick up legit radio stations, things that you know are DJs playing music, talk shows. But to me, this is an opportunity for spirits to actually try to make contact with us through this device. Hey everyone. Wes Wheatley here. Welcome to the first episode of Infrared. This is a paranormal investigation show, and right now we are on our way to investigate the paranormal activities that are taking place at Jay and Nicole's residence. They've been experiencing what sounds to me like an average haunt. I think that the spirits don't mean them any harm, but they themselves are feeling very, very frightened right now, and we're gonna do a spiritual cleansing so that we can release the spirits from their residence and let them get back to feeling safe and secure. Okay, here we are. We are at Jay and Nicole's residence right now. We're gonna be going in, we're gonna do a spiritual cleansing of the space, release the haunt, and let them get on with their lives. So, let's do it. They know we're filming. 
Uh, yeah, of course. Um, so I'm just gonna go in there and have a quick little powwow with them to let them know what to expect. And then we can all go in and film this, uh, film this, this first haunt. Well, I'll come with you. No, 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 that's okay. It's all right, I'll just be right back. Hey, how's it going? Jay. Hey, man. Good to meet you, Wes. Um, all right, let's get this place cleansed. Uh, we'll get you and your wife uh, feeling good. Uh, I've got a camera crew here with me, actually, that's going to be um, filming uh, the no. the cleansing. No, no, no. We're, we're not doing the, we're not doing cameras. Uh, it's we didn't agree to that. Little miscommunication. <laughs> um, so uh, when I spoke to them earlier, uh, they thought it was next week. Are you guys familiar with this? This is uh, Lincoln School. Uh, this place gets talked about a lot. Um, a lot of people who have tried to get into the space, um, a lot of people who have tried to s sneak onto the grounds, um, uh, and the cops are called and they're usually taken out. Nobody's really been able to, that I know of anyway, really infiltrate. Is this good? <laughs> what do you think? Okay. <laughs> do you actually believe in this kind of stuff? Yeah, I do very much. Really? Yeah. Do you always? I didn't when I was a kid. Actually, it's funny, when I was a kid, I grew up in a very religious house. Uh, I believed the idea of um, like something, I believed in God, and I, I believed in something different. Is your sister religious as well? Uh, yeah, I, I don't really want to talk about my sister in this, though. Why not? Um, she's not a part of it. Uh, we don't really have, you know, we don't work together anymore, so she's not a part of this show. I'd rather just not have her be included. So there's a lot of different rumors about, you know, like why the school closed down in the first place. You can imagine 12 years uh, having been shut down, you hear a lot of different stuff. Um, I think the most popular uh, rumor is that a teacher, I think it was a seventh grade teacher, um, went crazy. Uh, Nobody really defined what crazy meant, but went crazy and like murdered a classroom of students. An infestation of demon rats. This was something I read on Facebook, I think like three years ago. So do you know why I actually closed? I do, yeah. It's not quite as exciting as demonic rats, but what actually happened is that there was a gas leak in a classroom and a teacher and five students died. Since then, it's been totally shut down. Nobody's been allowed on the premises. Uh, and as far as I know, Nobody's actually been able to go in and uh, there's no reports of any kind of hauntings or anything of that nature. But I think, how can there not be? With a tragedy like that, the abandoned building, it is the perfect atmosphere for paranormal activity to be taking place. Yeah, and now it was like maybe, I don't know, five or six years ago. So. Can you still remember? Mm -hmm. yeah. So do you want to tell us about what's going to happen here? Uh, yes, we're doing a cleansing today. So um, this woman, Judy, has contacted me because she has a, a spirit in the house. And so um, I'm here to send the spirit so that it can be at peace. Cool. So. Mm -hmm. Hello, Isabel. Hi, I'm Judy Hi, Perry. Judy. Nice to meet you. Hi, fellas. Um, yeah, we have this camera crew with us today. That's yes, a, you said that's okay. That. <laughs> I'm just going to, I don't remember exactly what I told you about the circumstances around here, so I'll just tell you everything. Okay. Um, my husband, Skip, passed away six months, three weeks, and two days ago. Okay. And since that happened, I've had several things that have been disconcerting to me. I mean, I think probably most people. One thing that happened, and this, this has happened a couple of times, uh, Skip used to get my coffee every morning. Mm. One morning I had had coffee. I took, let me go in here and show you. I had uh, taken my empty coffee cup, set it right here, went into the bedroom to uh, 
try and you know, to get dressed for the day. And when I came back out, I was gonna put it into the dishwasher. It was full and it was hot. It was steaming. Mm. I mean, that's a little hello, right? Mm -hmm. We used to have a little deal. I would do the sorting of the laundry and uh, I would put it in the, the machine and, and wash it. And then he would take it out of the machine, put it into the dryer, dry it, and fold it, put it away. Mm. He kind of got the raw deal, <laughs> ask me. Um, so I had put the, the laundry in the washer and it was late at night and I thought, I'm just gonna go to sleep. I'll put it in the dryer in the morning. And I came in here and it was folded. It was mm. folded. Oh, I feel something in this corner. You do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's feel, typical with kind of hot spots like this. Do you feel oh. him? Do you feel a, a, I don't know what it is, but... Um, does it feel angry or sad? I'm not sure yet, but it's kind of confirming what you're saying, oh. so... Yeah. Wow, that's very exciting. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just love the idea that it is him, and yeah. yet I don't want him to be unhappy. Right. You know? Yeah. There's this little voice, very high-pitched, like a little baby, little baby voice. Mm under a pile of blankets. It's very muffled. It's like, let's see. Help. Help. Is that weird? It's, it's like, it's like baby Skip. Mm. I, you know, Judy, I totally understand why you would. You do. I, I mean, this is not, I wouldn't say it's normal for me, but it's, um, this is within the realm of standard. Oh. You know? It's so reassuring. So what you're saying is that this, you're not necessarily feeling distressed. No, I, I, I mean, I do think it's Skip, mm -hmm. so it doesn't distress me. Yeah. I love him, uh, but I don't want him to be unhappy. We want to we want set him at peace. Yes, mm -hmm. go, go with God, honey. Yep. My method, um, it, it'll probably take about 20 to 30 minutes. Oh, that's fast. Mm -hmm. Um, it is best if the loved one is not in the room. Oh, you don't, you don't want me here. It just allows the spirit to let go okay. more easily. Oh, of course. So I'll just ask you to be in another room okay. for the 20, 30 I minutes. Can, okay. And, I... um, and then I'll just let you know when it's done. So I'm going to go to my car, get some equipment. So if you just want to, I don't know if there are any kind of things I've you want to say to Skip to, to let him oh, go. Absolutely. In peace. Absolutely. And, then, and then you can just go to the other room. Okay. I'll come back and I'll set him free. I'm so relieved. Okay. I'm so relieved. I, I didn't know what happened today, but thank you so much. Yeah, so I'll just run to my car and um, grab some of my equipment. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye, bye Thank you. So is this the only thing you do when you come to these cleansings? Um, not to the clients. I mean, this. What's nice about smudging is that it leaves a um, a physical, like a smell. You know that something's happened. So it's like it represents the spirit passing on. So. It smells good. Yeah. I mean, I get a lot of calls from, especially. It seems like a lot of widows. So I don't know what's going on there. If it's like you know, women having trouble letting go or something, but, um, but you know, this does actually, I mean, it seems to help because, uh, you know, they, I haven't gotten any complaints. <laughs> we'll just hit in here. This is a nice touch because now her laundry will smell like sage and I'll be like, but 20 to 30 minutes is still fast, but a reasonable amount of time to, <laughs> to set a spirit free. Hey, rub it up. Take this as Wes. Judy. Yes. Yes. Hi, Isabel. How did it go? Are you done? Yep. Yeah, okay. All done. Well. So you can come that out. That was pretty quick, wasn't yep. it? Mm-hmm. Well, that was that was easy, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So I will invoice you. Okay. Okay. Great. I was going to ask. Um, yep. So I got your contact info, and so you'll get that okay. just in, in the like email. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, Isabel, thank you so much. All I'm right. So, thanks, Judy. So thankful. Thank and you. you, you guys, thanks so much nice for, you. Thank for you. You, your help today. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. All right. You have a good day. Thanks. You too. Bye bye. Bye, Judy.
We got what we need, right? Yeah. Um, Wes said he has some news for us. Uh, something to do with our school. Good. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah. I think. I mean, he'd only call if he got it, right? <sighs> oh, that's what he says. So I have this idea. I think I can convince him, but if... Would you be open to joining the show? I think I can win him over. First of all, I don't think he's going to want that. I think he will. But I, think, I, think I also don't know, like, what would I be contributing? You know, like, what? Just, like, keep him grounded, some sort of human element. There's... It's... I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm going to keep him grounded. I think you can. I don't think he's going to listen to me. I think it's worth a shot. Like, worst thing he can do is tell you to leave. I mean, you've been trying to fix that relationship with him. Yeah. I mean, I don't... So, it's the point... The point of this show is... To hunt ghosts. But is it is to, like, is it to help him? Like, is it going to end up helping him? I think it will help him. And helping people. I think he wants to help people, honestly. I don't know if he's doing it the right way. But I think truly that's what he wants to do. It's just been a long time since I've talked to him, you know. I did not think that this is how this day was gonna go. <laughs> All right, very exciting news, everybody. We have gotten permission to go to Lincoln School. It is an enormous abandoned building, been abandoned for years, and I've always wanted to go and do a spiritual investigation there. And we got permission to go to that school. It took some aggressively charismatic emails, but, uh, but we did it. And we're going, and that's our next haunt. Super excited. We're good. Good? Yeah. All right. Great so, job. So, the other day when you were doing your exorcism or deliverance or whatever it was, uh, she mentioned that you killed someone. What was that about? Um, during exorcisms, actually, demons will say a lot of things to try to provoke everybody. So... It was nothing. You, it seemed like you knew what she was talking about. Uh, what I, the, if you saw recognition, it was that I recognized that this possession was legit and um, it needed to be expedited. So, yeah. Not going to give us anything else? I can give you something if there was more to give you. Jeff! Wes! So hey, great welcome! To meet you. Thank you so much. Yes, I'm Jeff. I'm also known as the owner's manual. The owner's yeah. manual! Hey, I'm so That's great. Come on in, guys. Uh, right. Oh, yeah, I'm so sorry. This is the crew. Uh, this is my producer. Producer? Randy. Never met a producer before. Here this he is. is. Great. Uh, this is Austin. He's our sound yeah. guy. Hey, Austin, how are you? Yeah, behind the camera, that's Rob. Well, you know what? I'm so excited for you guys to meet her. Meet you know? her. Yeah, I, you know, this place, it does need a facelift, but to me, it's the happiest place on earth. She, oh, the building is her. Yeah, of course. Great. Uh, so anyway, let's uh, let's get rolling. I have a, a few other engagements today, but I'm very happy to give you a tour and show you uh, all the things we have to offer here. So, um, oh, I'm sorry. Is this is uh, this is a closed? Uh, is this? This is my sister Isabel. But your uh, sister Isabel. Okay. Well, this is Jeff. Who else is gonna show up? <laughs> that's a great. That's a great I'm question. Jeff. I'm the owner's manual. I'm the owner, um, and we have a. Beautiful tour. I'm ready to show you guys, but we gotta we gotta get moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Believe it or not, I own more than one property. So um, there's a lot of history to this place. Great, great. Um, uh, uh, Randy, let me talk to you for a second. No, let's keep going. We're uh, we busy. Uh, I I understand that he's busy, but uh, I just want to have a quick word with you, really fast, so you can cut. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, just a, a show thing. Is everything I guess we okay? Gotta I don't. Talk you about know, the, I don't... the framing here for a second. We are in view. Um, Did you do this? this I'm, I'm trying to be as lean as I can this here. This is my we, show. We have, She's gonna help. There's a time. We're gonna make time absolutely, shoot, yeah, know? Jeff. So, yeah, I just I'm, don't want to cut your tour short. You know, good. so um, is. Yep. No, no. Everything's, everything's great. Right. Everything is great. Yeah, I'd rather spend time inside than out <laughs> yeah, here, yeah, even too. though the whole place is beautiful. But after you, yeah. You're still recording, great. Yeah, I can turn the light on. There we go. This. I think that looks better. Let's do that way. So, basically, he's just going to do an intro to the episode. He's going to talk to you about the building. 
just give us a tour. Okay. Is this going to be at the beginning of the movie or at the end of the movie? Uh, this is the, sh the opening to the show. Yeah. Show? Okay. Yeah. We're going to give him a show. <laughs> We're going to give him a show. Let's do it. Hey everybody, it's Wes Wheely here. Uh, welcome to another episode of Infrared. I'm here with Jeff, the owner of the Lincoln School, uh, which you've seen or heard so much about. Um, oh, this is adorable. Is this uh, you know, an original? This supposedly after midnight serves fruit punch. <laughs> well, then uh, we're in luck. Just fruit punch. Great, nothing but fruit punch here. And water. Freshly brewed, yeah, water. Cool. All original, all authentic. Great. Just like this whole building. Terrific. Uh, we'll get a sponsorship from Fruit Punch. So the, the classrooms, all, they all kind of have their own story. This used to be the vice principal spot, but then it was taken over by Miss Schultz. Miss Schultz was a fascinating English teacher. She shared a lot of stories. Of, of course. Oh, thank you. Miss Schultz was, it was not the vice principal, but took over from the vice principal? Yeah, she was an English teacher. She was share stories of Germany and her time there. Uh, these quotes are, are, are scattered and written throughout. I always wondered what some of these things meant, but you might be able to detect more. Wait, where are these written, these notes? Uh, they, they've come from all different times. I mean, hey, time is a big question mark, right? I want to kind of give you guys a, a basic feel. Now, there was, the security guard did talk about this corridor here. Uh, when he would do his, oh, his wow. night watch, there was, he'd hear laughter. In this corridor. In this corridor, and a lot of times that would come from either bringing in, there was like a puppy in here, he would hear laughter. There was a child, he would hear laughter. So, um, Did he, just is... patterns of sound that pass through here. But this was a spot he would talk about that he would hear things. Just for the, so we have it, can you just show us upstairs as well, maybe more of the building? Hey. You gotta love a producer. He's always thinking up, right? He sure is always This is gonna be a great movie, I have a great <laughs> feeling. Yeah, yeah, he's worth every penny. The higher up we go, the more interesting it gets. Interest mm. rises, right? Look at this. <laughs> he's, this is the ah, happiest day of his life. That's, <laughs> that's what I do, I make people happy. So there was an art class in here. Um, a painter from Spain would come through. The light comes in at very interesting angles. He used to say that the sun burned, was starting to kind of fry that part of the ceiling. So the ceiling's starting to come down. Interesting. Wow. Um, he said this was, that was burned? That's why. I, yeah, I mean, the stories people come up with, we all kind of make up our own reality. That thing is bizarre. Apparently it's turned on on its own. Oh, interesting. And even though that outlet doesn't work. So it doesn't. I don't know. Yeah. Is there electricity in the building at all? Uh, no, not right now. So the exit sign, they must be on a, a backup. Kind of service. Uh, hey. Oh, on a generator. Maybe it's just uh, a or maybe spirit. they're haunted, yeah. right? <laughs> Dr. Kenneth, when he was here, he would teach psychology, and he would walk into his classroom early in the morning. Nobody had been in here, and he would just smell like traces of smoke, cigarette smoke. I don't think the doctor did these. He's not really into <laughs> ballerinas, but. <laughs> It's help, you know, you again, know. there's just, there's, there's codes here. It's almost like you're, you know, you go to one of those things called escape rooms or something where yeah. it's like, that might be a code word. That might be nothing. Um, you know, hell you could, you know, grab oh, this no. here and write Mr. Jeff versus Wes the hero. <laughs> Wes the hero. You see what he's doing? He's scoping everything out. That's, that's the kind of person you need in your life. Yeah, that's why I got He sees the him. big picture. That's where things happen. That's, that's right. He knows how to sculpt a narrative. It may not be Hearst Castle, but it's got character. One time this guy came in and he's like, wait, I, I feel really dizzy when I walked in. It's like, well, no shit. You had like two drinks before you came <laughs> here, you know? So I always like to just see through the nonsense. But again, I'm open-minded. I just haven't seen anything that's convinced me. Sure. In these, in these you know, not to, not to diminish your efforts, but... Um, I hope you, hopefully you find something that's concrete. Do you buy, yeah, yeah, show? for uh, maybe the I camp. want this movie to be good. It, yeah, the yeah. show. The show is going to be a hit. Okay, uh, but uh, before you go, um, if you could, for the camera, there's been a lot of rumors, right, about why the place closed down, and I would love to get you telling the camera the real story of... You want me to be the movie star? Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. Well, let's, let's, You're going to be the star let's, of this episode. Let's, let's get all get closer. Yeah. Let's get a, a quick snap. Yep. Uh, so the school, again, it's a... Oh, wait, 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 so I'm sorry. So I'm, I'm going to intro it, and then I'll throw it to you. 
Hey everyone, Wes Wheatley here. Well, welcome back to Infrared. We're here with Jeff, the owner's manual um, of Lincoln School. And he's about to put those rumors to sleep. Uh, anyone who's been on the Facebook group page, we've all heard a lot of crazy things. So, Jeff. I'm a little nervous, hey, I don't do this often, but yeah, yeah I'm, why not, did it get a I'm not into the whole, like, whatever it's called, the Facebook. I just like to tell the cool hard truth. Uh, this is an amazing place, it's an inspiring place. A lot of great stuff has happened here. Uh, unfortunately, the school um, closed down. There was a terrible, terrible tragedy, and it happened um, in the lower level classrooms. This is a teacher, five students, and there was a gas leak, and they were like, they were trapped, and I just, it's, it's, you know, it's hard for me to, it's hard for me to talk about it. I, I, I don't yeah. know, but, but. So it was like the, did you say the lower level classrooms? What I, I had read that it took place in the, in the basement. Well, you, there's all kinds of, you know, stories that people tell, but it was the lower level, would, could and you, it was a horrible tragedy, and, and I still Jeff, try to. Would you be able to say it one more time? and just say that it was the basement, say that it happened in the basement? The, it, so th yeah, the ba it, it closed the school down and my wife, she's an amazing teacher as well, but we, we try to, we want this place to come back to life because we can't live in the past, we wanna live in the future and we go to these groups and we talk about moving forward. And, and one of the theories is, you know, you gotta forge ahead and you gotta kick ass and you gotta move forward and that's what we're trying to come back bigger and better and, and that's. Um, Did your wife work here also? She taught here, yeah, yeah. she taught here. She did. She was a teacher here. She was a teacher here. Well, not like right there, but <laughs> was, uh, what did she teach? Oh, she's a, oh my God. She's just the most amazing music teacher. Wow. I mean. Does she still teach? She's so great. She almost taught me how to play one note of guitar. <laughs> I guess she got me to play the Twilight Zone. I bet, dude, that's all I could learn. How oh, to play. wow. That she's, was... she's, yeah, she's a, she's a very passionate music teacher. Did she teach like all you... different levels of Music. I mean, like yeah, kindergarten she can, she, to. Home she up. can do. She can do everything. Yeah. She's just. She's just brilliant. But anyway, I, I'm. I'm. I'm taking. I'm kind of taking over your show here. I'm no, no, no. Sorry, you, but you're I'm doing gonna, such um, an awesome job. In fact, if we could, um, what would be terrific would be if we could actually get access to the basement, um, because I'm not sure if it's, if, if you well, know it, this, but for the show, it's true that the um, the point of tr of a trauma or a tragedy. Uh, fosters the most uh, vulnerable space for spiritual activity. Um, so Well, it's, you know, last I know, it's, it's a storage unit. It's got a bunch of junk in there from when the school closed. So sure. it's not, it's, you know, it's not like anything like this, you know, but. Uh, no, 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 um, I, and this is great. I cannot wait to explain. I mean, trust me, we're going to, every inch of this place, we're going to, we're going to get to it, but. Uh, you know, I got to run. If, if you really want to, if, uh, you know, there, one of these, I think, gets, will get you in there. I don't. Into I the basement? I, yeah, I can't make any promises. I don't know. It's. But uh, anyway, I, I gotta run. Yeah, um, yeah. Hey, I wish you guys all the success in the world. Thank you so much. Really, and, uh, really appreciate this. I'll be, uh, I'll be around. So make yourselves at home. Okay. And uh, you know, let me know if you need anything. Great. Be safe. Yeah. Thank you so much. Did you, Did you know she was gonna be here? You did. Yeah. Did he tell you? I mean, how did you know? We, I mean, you're gonna find out. We shot with her the other day. Randy thought that. You shot with her the other day. Randy didn't feel the show was as dynamic as it could be. And, uh, so Are you recording all this? To use an old saying, and kind of get the band back together. Uh, I mean, like, it, <laughs> would it not be nice to hang out with your sister no. again? And no, it would not be nice. Otherwise, I'd have her here. Well, she is here. I would have invited her here, I mean. I'm gonna go get some B-roll, okay? Sure. Make some good music with the old band. All right. So, really help if you stay in? How is it? I don't know how it's helping. It's I'm not, I'm not helping. I'm not helping by being here. He doesn't want me to be here. I don't want to be here. He's gonna help him. How? What is that? Oh my god. Let's get some B-roll. So can you tell us about what you're doing right now? Right now I'm setting up a camera that has infrared capacity to film this hallway. Cool, okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do an intro with you and Isabel. 
Um, so we're gonna go get him now. Wait, what are you talking about? We're gonna do an intro with me and Isabel? This is my show. You want a good show? This is what I do. We're gonna do a show with the building right now. I don't we can care. do the intro, you two in the building. What the Double fuck? Double the greatness. Let's do this. You're gonna love it. Trust me. Trust me. I do this for a living. I got you off fucking Craigslist. You do this for a living. Yeah. Sure, bring her up. Take it away, Wes. Give me an action. Action. <clears throat> hey, everybody. It's Wes Wheatley here. And... Izzy Wheatley. And uh, we're here at the Lincoln School, um, where we are looking to... <laughs> Let's, that sucks. Hey everybody, it's Wes Wheatley here. I don't need to do that again. Just... I'll just fucking do it, just let me roll into it. Okay. Hey everybody, it's... hey everyone. <clears throat> hey everyone, Wes Wheatley here. Uh, and... Izzy Wheatley. We're here at Lincoln School, uh, which has been... Such a dream come true, being able to get into this facility. I wanted to get in here for the last 10 years, and here we are. What about if you two do it together? If you, is it you start and you, just explain the camera together. And this is an infrared camera that Wes set up. Uh. So. Wes, no, do you want to That's what it is. That's say it's an infrared camera that I set up. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, man. Randy, did you talk to him? Uh, I haven't had a chance yet, but I'm going to talk to him. This isn't working. This... <laughs> Randy, it's not helping. I'm not helping. You said I was coming to help. How is this helping? Make it work. How? Just, he needs more confidence. I think you can give him that confidence. It's not working. I, I can't do it. I'm not How am I going to give him confidence? He needs your acceptance. I think he's just lacking something. Like I think, I think you can help. I mean, if... Uh, <laughs> He doesn't want to talk to me. He hasn't wanted to talk to me for two years. You want to help him, right? Yeah. Do you have to do that now? What will help him is if the show will work, because it's not working at the moment. <sighs> right. We want it to work as well. Let's work together. Let's make this happen. I mean, I'll try talking to him. I don't think he'll talk Please. to me, but... Thank you. Why did you decide to come, by the way? Because Randy said that it would, that I would help. He said that you would help with the show? Yeah, he said, and he like said a, that you like would a want crew me member? here and that I would help. Help doing what? I don't know. I mean, that's why I told him I was going to leave. Are you going to leave? I, I mean, I will if you want me to. You might as well leave because uh, this show is a sinking ship. You drive me fucking crazy, but... But you were really good at this stuff. You, know, you do not I do. think that. I do. You never I thought do. that. I do. You've been doing this since we were like, I mean, you, like you were <laughs> like six years old and you were like, the Wes Wheatley show, this has been your dream forever and now we're finally here you made it to the Lincoln School, which nobody has been able to get into, and you did that. You're here for a reason. But the show is going terribly. I got, I was the yes. first one to get in here, and now I can fuck it up. But it's your Great. first show. You've never done this before. So of course you're not gonna be like, you gotta figure it out, but, but you were made to do this, Wes. You might drive me crazy, but that's true. 
I thought the camera would be on and it'd be like boom, 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 boom. Like when I was a kid. Do you remember your, your motto? I'm Wes Wheatley and I can't <laughs> lose. <laughs> well, it hasn't felt like that. Well, let's get back in there. You gonna, you wanna stick around? You wanna be part of the Wes Wheatley Can't Lose show? <laughs> Let's just get in there and do the show. I'll do that. If you admit, you feel something in here. <laughs> Isabel, don't fuck around with me. It's drafty. <laughs> It's an old drafty school, that's true. Well, let's get down to the fucking drafty basement and find some goddamn ghosts. Hey everybody, welcome back to Infrared. I'm Wes Wheatley and I'm here with... Izzy Wheatley. Izzy? Wheatley? How about some pep? <laughs> One more time. Action. Hey everybody, welcome back to Infrared. I'm Wes Wheatley and I'm here with... Izzy Wheatley. <laughs> and we are here at the basement door, so let's go inside. You might recall, but this is the uh, location where the gas leak took place that actually saw the building condemned, where a teacher and five students were killed, um, making this the most vulnerable place in the building for spiritual activity. This key's don't work. I need you to call Jeff and tell him that uh, the basement key isn't here. Uh, just tell him to bring all of the building keys down so that one of the keys will, can you do that? Thank you. Uh, okay. Okay. Back upstairs. Flashlight's in. All right, ready? Welcome back to Infrared. Infrared. <laughs> Say it with me. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to infrared. infrared. We'll work on that. I've got my EMF meter, and what we're doing currently is we're going to be roaming the dark hallways of Lincoln School here, and we're going to be using this EMF meter as our trusty guide to see where we can start to pick up on some electromagnetic frequencies. This is probably nothing, but let's bear the name Hannah in mind. So Izzy, do you know how to use an EMF meter? You just hold it. <laughs> That's true. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Although Izzy's job is not using the EMF meter because anyone can do that. Izzy's job is to trust her intuition because Izzy is intuitively far more sensitive to the spirit realm than any of the instruments that I have. Izzy, in fact, is I the reason. Izzy is the reason that I started doing this in the first place. Okay.
really high numbers right now. Sounded like a locker. Most fractured signal I've ever seen. Stay with it. Show me. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Stay open. Where's the spot? Show me where it is. Right here? Yeah? Okay. Uh, okay, so. Uh, we can come, we're gonna get set up here. We're gonna get set up here. If there are any spirits present in this room, we invite you to communicate with us. If there are any spirits in this room now, we invite you to communicate with us. Lizzie. I can't do it. Huh? I can't do it. What are you talking about? I can't do it. Hey. 
Easy. Hey, are you getting something? <laughs> are you are you getting something? <laughs> Can we stop, please? Izzy, no, 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 hey, 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 it's okay. I want to stop, please! Izzy, please, 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 please. Hey, hey, I'm sorry, but... Uh, something's up. What, what, what? What is wrong with you? Where? Where? What are you doing? It's not working. You're in the room. It's not working. Rob! Rob! What the fuck are you guys doing? I'm not going back in there. That was so dark. You don't know. You didn't feel it. I'm not going That's back true. in there. I know. Listen, I know. I understand. You're the one with the gift, okay? And it is a gift. Which is why I need you. No, this is what you do. You're like using other people for your that's entertainment. Not yeah, that's that is, not that's true. what you did with that guy. That's why he died. What happened with that guy? I felt fucking terrible about. All right, I was naive. I didn't know what I was doing. No, this is exactly what you like to do. You like to stir shit up. I'm you stir up all this dark I'm... stuff. That's exactly what your show is all about. It's not. <laughs> Listen, it, you completely misunderstand my interests. Okay, the show is not about trying to stir any darkness up. My interest has always been, always been, trying to find out how to be able to set that dark realm free. That's true, and from what I have seen, the way that you do that is by acknowledging them. Let them be seen. But I cannot do that on my own. I need you. So, can we please, Izzy, please, please, will you please go back in there with me and help me find a way to give this place some peace? You, f you felt it. Okay. All right. Hey, guys. Break's over. We're going to go back in, okay? Can we ask you a few questions, if, if you're okay with it? Well, what? What happened up here? Sometimes, um... Sometimes I'm able to feel spirits. So the dark ones are, uh, it's really hard. They're really, um, there's just a lot of pain and fear. And it's, uh, it's just overwhelming. Was the one up there bad? And you didn't feel anything, Wes? Not like that. I mean, I sometimes there's a little something, but it's it's nothing like. Um, Izzy's got a gift. Uh, that was the biggest reaction I've seen. I, I've seen her react when we, when we were young. It was. Uh, what was going on, but that was a big one. I think this is a troubled space. What happened two years ago was it something like this? I don't want to talk about that. But I, you feel uncomfortable? It's fine. Thank you, Izzy, for talking to us. Okay.
Okay. Um, hey, Austin, is your sound equipment okay? Yeah, we're good. You said I don't, did it got fucked up or something. Yeah, we had some interference, but I, I checked it out loud. We're good to go. Okay, great, 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 great. Are you recording? Recording. Okay. So here we are uh, at the camera that I set up in the hallway. Battery is dead, so I'm just going to do a quick battery change here. And once I get it on, I'm going to scrub through some of the footage to see if anything occurred during the time that we were in there. So I'm just going to jump to the approximate time that we had that activity in the other room. Uh, I'm looking for, holy shit. Holy shit, Izzy, come here. Look, 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 look. Did you see that orb? Did you see that? Rob, did you see that orb? Oh, holy shit. Oh my God. That was this door. We were in that room and a door slammed, right? But that slammed and that, this is a different door. Izzy, Izzy, come here, come here. Is your infrared on? I can turn it on. Turn on the infrared. Okay, Rob, I need you, um, while you're looking at it, right, you're also scanning for orbs. You saw that orb on the, on the camera, right? Yeah. That's the kind of thing that you're looking for. Izzy, how you feeling? Rob, scan this room, see if you can see anything. No. Okay. Izzy, do you feel anything? Okay, Rob, with your infrared, I need you scanning, looking for um, obvious, anything out of the ordinary, but, the, but those, those kinds of orbs. That's really what you're looking for here, is he? Here, let's also walk around, okay? Your orb barometer. What do we do if we find an orb? If you find an orb, you let me know exactly where you saw it. Looks like a camera. Is this one of ours? No, oh, it's not one of mine. Does that have a card in it? Yeah. The fuck is it doing here? I don't know. Who would have done? Must be Jeff's, right? He's the only one who's in here. How would Jeff put a camera there? He's watching us. Where was it? Up here? Yeah, it was right here. It was right here. It was pointing right over there. It's pointing right here where all of the all of the main activity happened, right? Can we do a quick um, let's do a quick scan? Let's use your camera light here and just do a quick scan to see if we can find any more of these cameras. Because uh, if Jeff is watching us, I want to know why. Hey everybody, we're downstairs now, and um, we found another one of these cameras sitting here, uh, hidden down on this outlet, and it's pointing at the entrance of the building. We're gonna pop the card reader out, and we're gonna take a look at what's on this and the other camera and see if there's anything um, interesting. A woman turned on uh, this little camera, and she set it up, and she positioned it on that ledge, and this is what she, the camera's filming, what it is that she's doing, why she set up the camera, uh, where she is in the build, oh, here she is. So this is the area where those lockers are. So this is the space where everything happened when, when we were up there. Okay, looks like she's coming down. There she is. Oh, oh what the fuck? Holy shit. That was 
was it. What? That was it. That was it? Yeah. That had to be it. That had to be what I felt. That's Jeff. Is that Jeff? Oh, shit. Okay, I'm gonna put on the other card. I know, we're the only ones allowed in here, right? I mean, he... Yeah, that's right. Jeff said nobody else is no nobody else comes in here, right? He said nobody else is coming in here. We're scrubbing through. This is the lower level. But why was she setting up cameras? I don't know. That's I mean, that's a question. Is she trying to is she looking for ghosts? Is she looking for him? Fuck. So we have to call the police. No, 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 please, no, please. Why the police? Then we have to call the police. We're gonna lose the show. What? We'll call the police. We're gonna lose Who the show. Who gives a shit about the show? Oh, 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 Randy, she's right. The, the, we, we, we are absolutely going to be calling the police, and we're gonna be turning over this. We're gonna be turning over all of the footage that we have. This is a fucking crime scene, man. Okay. But Izzy. It's also true that if we call the police right now, they're gonna come, they're gonna lock up the building, and all of the darkness that exists in here right now, is gonna stay. Whatever happened 12 years ago, whatever bad shit happened just now, is gonna keep on happening. Wes, I have never felt anything this strong. Like not even two years ago, that was like nothing compared to this. Maybe you just call the police. Izzy, I'm afraid that if we don't do something now, nobody's going to. Nobody's done anything for the last 12 years. And once the police find out about whatever it is that's been happening in here. We don't know, we don't even know where it is. We know where it is. It's in the fucking basement. That's why he didn't want us down there. Did, did you get a hold of Jeff with the key? Yeah, I don't think we want to be talking to Jeff. I was just curious if he came by with it. I could just pick the lock you if can, you guys want. You can pick locks? Yeah. You can pick that lock? I think so. Okay, then uh, we pick the lock. We film it, and we cleanse this space, and then we turn everything over to the cops. Got it. You feel it? No. Yeah? Okay. Uh. Oh. Open it! Come on. Come on. Come on. Where? Wait. Okay. It's okay.
okay. Shine your light in there. We have to go in. We have to go in there. Yeah. Okay. 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 Izzy, you're doing great. You're doing great. Okay. Find the spot. It's right here. Is this it? Yeah. Okay. Go. 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 Okay. Spirit. We summon you to commune with us in this space. <laughs> Spirit, we invite you. We invite you to communicate with us in this space. Okay? Are you okay? okay. Alright, let's go. Okay. Who's ready? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey. Who's ready? Randy! Randy, come on, we gotta go! Where is he? Randy! Randy! We gotta go! Fuck! Oh. Rob, come on! Randy! Come on, come on, come on. We gotta fucking go. Randy! We gotta go. We gotta go. Randy. games with me. Jeff, what did I tell you? I swear to God, I'm not playing games What did I tell you? There was nothing down here. There what did you do? You disrespected me on the owner's manual. I let you in here. Jeff, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to disrespect you. What were you, you doing in there? Jeff, you know what? You made a mockery of me. You wanted a show. You brought these clowns in here to make a fucking show. I don't you know better what? fucking keep recording because we got a show coming. You wanted a show. You got it. But I'm the fucking producer this time. All right, I'm the producer. It's my show. You're the producer. I'm no. the producer. Why are you fucking recording me? You're the you producer. You fucking asshole. I saw your attitude when you walked in here. You were making fun of me. Jeff, Jeff, what? I own you guys now. Jeff, just tell us what, what you need, man. Just tell us what you need. We'll do whatever you want. You wanted a show. That's what we're going to do. Get fucking moving right now. OK. Get moving. OK. All right? Absolutely. 15 minutes of shame starts right now. You're the producer. Yeah, I'm man. ready for my close up. 
I've been ready for my close-up. Let's go. Wes, you're no hero. You're a fucking coward. You're a fake hero. You're a false idol. You're, you're right, man. You're just one big Facebook group. That's what I fucking hate about Facebook. You're right, man. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, hey! In here. Where do you think you're going? You're just driving. You're, you're driving around my place. You're always acting like you own the place. We're trying what to am I? You're not, you're right, you're right. We're trying to follow you in the direction. We're in just, here. This is just ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> Jeff, whatever you want. Hey, right me. through there. Come on. It's beautiful. No! beautiful yeah. yeah, come on. It's a great sound stage. Let's go. It's the scene of the crime. Hey, Isabel, come on. You wanted a show. What, what's your. Come on, Isabel. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, come on. Let's, let's move the light out here. Let's help the sound guy. Hey, is the sound okay? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, great. Fuck. So Fuck. let's. Isabel, come on. Come on. Let's save this for the for the show. You're giving away all your emotion. Like, I gotta teach these guys everything. Come on, Jeff, camera man, in. Come on. You don't have this to is do going this. way too slow. Jeff, way man, you too don't have fucking to do this, slow. Okay, whatever, whatever you, whatever. No, you... no, we got a we got a show to do. Okay, okay, okay. enough bullshitting. It's slight. Come on. Stop stuttering, what, what the fuck's your problem? You're up there, you're asking about the basement, oh my god! You're a big show off, when the camera's on, you don't know how to shine, that's the problem. Jeff, I'm ready, I'll do the show, okay. man. Okay, okay, ready? Yes, and yes. Action. Uh, okay, this is, uh, hey everyone, it's, it's Wes Wheatley here. Uh, welcome back to Infrared, we're here, uh, we're here What with did you see, what did you find, what are you doing here? All right, we're here, uh, we're here at, at, at the Lincoln School. And who, who, who introduced you we're here? here? We're here with Jeff, who introduced us. Yeah. To the school, he brought us down here for the show, and so now we're down here. We're, we're doing the show, and uh, and and Jeff is. Uh, oh, man. Jeff Jeff is here with us. Sandwich. Jeff is here with us. Cut, yeah, yeah what, man. Jeff you is got, here hey, with stop us. Stop moving around. Okay, You're uh, like a ballerina. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, uh, hey everyone, it's Wes Wheatley. We're here with a very special episode of of Infrared. We're here with Jeff, and he's led us down into this really amazing Shh, space. You hear that? You hear that? But, Isabel, come in. Come into the light. Come into the light. Come in. You gotta. You gotta hear this. You gotta hear this. Thing. Oh my God, they're marinating baby food. Okay. They're, they're, they're gonna be ready for you. They're gonna be ready for you. It's gonna be ready. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Come in here. Come in. Here. Do you know why we're here? Do you know why we're in this space? I don't. I don't know why we're in. this Remember space. that story that I told you. Remember, you kept asking the basement, what, what happened? You're so interested yeah, in yeah, yeah. this tragedy in my wife. You know where, you know what? This is where it happened. This is where the gas leak happened. I'm you so see, that's, what, that's the sign of a great show, is you start with the emotion, you end with it, you book it. Yeah, you get you fucking off. book it. You get the setup and the payoff. That's yes. Right. Yes, Jeff. And now you are going to be part of the most beautiful Finale you've ever seen. No, Infrared is a fucking joke compared to what this is gonna be. You're right. Okay? Yeah. You're right. Why you're do right. you keep fucking moving? What are you shooting? Dirt? Let's get this over here. Let's get us in a three shot. Come on. The new star, the movie stars. <laughs> right, yeah, man. This is one, it. Okay. One final frame. Oh this is this is this it. This is gonna be incredible. This is kind of tight. I see why you didn't like it. Come here. Come on, come on. Come on. Guys, can, you can trust me. I'm the owner's manual. Have I, let, I gave you everything you wanted. You wanted the basement? You got the basement. Now just come on. Come on. Okay. We gotta move. We, this, is, this is slow. We got we got run time here. Come on. Let's go. What are you shooting? That looks like shit. That's all green. We, it's infrared. We're not gonna get on a big show with this. This isn't a movie. Good lord. Now keep the fucking camera on. Come on, guys. Come on, you guys are, this is gonna be fun. You guys got your show. <laughs> this is the show. You guys Jeff. look so scared. You guys don't take any creative risks. That's Jeff. the problem. That's why this show hasn't worked. Jeff, Jeff, just please, man. Just, yeah, we're going, yeah. we're going. Just, <laughs> please what? Just. This is gonna be the best show of your life. Come on. No. We're going in here. Just relax. Sometimes <laughs> what people want the most, you give it to them, and then they realize you don't, they don't want it. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, you do not have to do this, You know man. what? Please. Okay? You we should be calling me the producer! <laughs> okay. I'm not Jeff anymore, I'm the producer. Okay, you're the producer, man. You, oh, you this is... Have, you don't have to do 
whenever you have, whenever you get. Yes, I do. I got to give you a show. I give people what they want. Wes, Wes the hero. I believed in you. I trusted you. And I'm loyal to you. Now go. This is this is gonna be the greatest moment of your life, man. Man, 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 man people are gonna go. be wondering. People are gonna be wondering. Nobody's gonna ever okay. fucking no, wonder. No, 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 please, please, please. Okay, you do not have to. Do you are gonna take a nap. You're upset. I swear to God. You're gonna need to relax. I swear okay? to God. So you do not have to. Whatever you. You know what? You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to. Going on here. I want to tell you a story, okay? I'm gonna tell your story. You know, sneak under here. We're, we're gonna we're gonna get this camera ready. We're gonna do a little prep session. You're gonna Jeff. go wait in here. This is your dressing room. Jeff. This Jeff. is a real fucking show. Jeff. Okay. Please, please, man. We do not have to go. I wanted there. to make a movie. You want to make a show. Now you got a show and you're not happy. Get in there. It's your dressing room. Please. Okay. Man. There's some, there's some even some good food waiting for you. There's filet mignon. Tell him okay. to get in there. Just go. Please go. <laughs> Isabel, this is, this is the greatest moment of your life! This is your moment. Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. This is gonna be a great movie. Okay, guys, I will be back. Okay? Give me five minutes. Knock, knock. Jeff! Say hi to my wife for me. Jeff! He's gone! He's fucking gone! There's gotta be a way to open this fucking door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 